Hello YouTube, my name is Amulya and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress 6.1.1 on Windows operating system, Windows 10 using XAM server. So let's get started. The only requirement is you must have XAM or similar package installed on your system. So this is Windows 10, okay? And it should work on Windows 11 as well. So simply go to wordpress.org slash or simply go to wordpress.org to download the wordpress uh, for the installation local installation so once you are here at wordpress.org click on get wordpress and then you can download wordpress 6.1.1 howdy thanks for downloading so this is being downloaded shouldn't take long now to install WordPress locally, you need a server. Server for you can see Apache. I'm running Apache server and one database which is my SQL. Uh, this XMP uses um, uh, MariaDB, which is kind of a, another version of uh, this MySQL. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a table for this WordPress local installation. In the meanwhile, this download will complete. So a bit slower. Okay, so I've got multiple running here. These are all services. So basically, I'm going to create a new database. That's what you should do. So simply type in the database name. I'm going to say WP6 okay and i you shouldn't have the same name okay i already have so first i need to go ahead and uh okay create 6.1 so wp6 okay so that's the name of the database which i'm creating with php my admin on my excel package or server or control panel whatever you call it once it is there I have the WordPress download in my downloads folder okay so what I can do I should simply go ahead and unzip it so I've got seven zip you can use this extract all or seven zip so it's going to be unzipped to this particular folder under the same downloads folder and that's done here it is okay so i'm going to just open this wordpress and minimize it so i already have this database uh, name and the downloaded extracted WordPress package which is in my download folder now I need to simply go ahead and get into the WordPress sorry XMP htdocs folder so go to wherever your XMP is installed open it look for htdocs and here you simply have to put all those WordPress thing so i'll simply go ahead and get it from downloads here it is okay so i'm going to cut it and go back again so this will take me to the xm hdocs folder i'm going to paste that folder over here okay now we are right there so what it has done because If it is confusing I'm simply going to delete it okay it, it is a bit confusing so what I'm going to do uh, this is HD docs I'm going to put it on here and then I'm going to launch another Explorer and go to downloads folder which is going to be on the right and I'm going to paste Oh, looks like I'm 
I will have to okay so we got it here so just open it so just undo to uh, you see I do I pressed control Z control Z whatever you call and then I got it back so I simply have to copy everything from here and put this in a folder under htdocs so un, uh, I can simply take this folder here drag it in this htdocs and then I can rename it so I'm just pressed F2 and I'm going to rename it WP600 oops WP61 that's the folder name or directory name for my WordPress installation. I can simply go ahead and you know close everything and then go to localhost slash the folder name which is WP61 hit enter and this should pull up the installation script I don't need this WordPress anymore however you can have a look at uh, the requirement 7 recommended 7.4 mysql 5.7 and above mariadb 10.3 and above okay so here we go select the language okay it is available in most of the languages popular languages of the world click continue it is asking for database name username password and host table prefix uh, so database name is wp61 username on xm by default is root i don't have password local host is the host wp61 that's going to be the table prefix and hit submit okay establishing a database connection maybe maybe i have password so let's let's see okay so i do have password on it so okay site name is wp six one username is calling password is including you definitely want to have easy to remember password on your desktop on your local machine so is calling install wordpress sorry that is not a valid email address Oh, this guy is asking for email I thought they are asking for password confirmation but I did not read it so I'm going to simply say admin support at that's my email address okay so here we go I should have something in WP61 you can see so when, when you simply install WordPress you get 12 tables okay these are basic 12 tables of wordpress installation this might be a question if you go for uh, an interview wordpress developer interview backend so login i just need to type in is coding here we use coding you so much for watching i'm in here so what uh, i have to test few sql commands before i update my live uh that's wordpress site this is why i just installed it on my local system and thought of creating this video thank you for watching if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment have a good evening, bye for now.